Welcome back to another episode of Gone EV. Thank you for tuning in. We have a pretty good one for this this week. We're leaving leaving New Canaan, Connecticut to drive up to St. Albans, Vermont. Uh, it's about a six hour drive with the charging included. I'll have to stop at an Electrify America charging station in West Lebanon, New Hampshire for about 32 minutes. And then uh, that should be suffice to, to get there. It says about 328 miles from New Canaan to Vermont. So that's why I'll have to charge for a little bit just to top off to get to get me there. I'll be staying at an Airbnb on the lake, Lake Champlain. Uh, that actually uh, is suited for a uh, Tesla uh, ch charging station. Uh, so I went and purchased a Tesla to J1772 adapter. So this way I can charge while I'm at the house and still be mobile. Otherwise I'd be stuck more or less. So stay tuned. Uh, we'll be on the road shortly. Take care. So made it to uh, West Lebanon, New Hampshire uh, at a Walmart station. Uh, also Electrify America um, at a Walmart store, Electrify America charging station. There's four chargers here. Two out of the four weren't working and the other two were occupied when I arrived. Uh, therefore, I had to wait about 26 minutes to get one to free up and then I started charging. Uh, there's others here that are still trying to get, you know, wait in line to get their car charged, unfortunately. So it's maybe something that should be looked at um, to give somebody, you know, give everyone a little bit better experience. Uh, apparently, there's this is the only one in the vicinity that's a super fast charger. And these chargers have been throttled down, so they're estimated you know their expected output of 150 or 350 kilowatts depending on the charger type and car has been throttled down to 50 across the board which is obviously not great compared to what the expected charging is so my expected charge would have been 41 minutes to get to 80 percent it's probably gonna be significantly longer um i don't need to get to 80 percent uh to get to my last destination in st albans vermont but um, just to top it off, because I don't know what the situation is going to be like when I get there. Um, I guess we'll have to find out. But at least I made it here. Uh, so I have about 115 miles left to travel to get to St. Albans in Vermont. And then we'll see what happens after, after I get there. We'll see you in a little bit. So quick correction uh, from what I was told. Uh, I was given false information. Uh, it has been, this EA charging station has been throttled down. Um, I guess the vehicle that was charging before me, he was only able to get 50%, uh, 50 kilowatts an hour. I think he had a Chevy Volt or Bolt. Um, I am getting 121 kilowatts an hour. So not 150, but it's okay. Uh, I'll take the 121. Uh, I am at 66% charging been here for 32 minutes so i might actually still be in that 40 minute range to get to 41 minute range to get to 80 percent and then back on the road Figure might as well take a video. It's actually really nice. It's right on the main road. There is a Tesla charger. God, you don't know how relieved I am to see that Tesla charger. Hopefully my truck works on it with my adapter. Let's go. The Tesla to J1772 charging adapter working like a charm i couldn't be more relieved hey what's up everyone welcome to back to gone ev we're uh in st albans vermont which is about an 18 minute 18 mile drive 32 minutes to the canadian border and uh, i'm off to go see if i can get it to canada 
and extend this little road trip that I'm on and do a little content. We'll see what happens. So as you can see, we've arrived at the Canadian border, several cars ahead of me to, before I can see if I can get in. Uh, this is gonna be an interesting conversation um, and hopefully it works out for the best. Not sure how far into Canada I plan to drive. Um, just, I guess, long enough to be able to turn around and uh, say that I got in, say that I drove to Canada <laughs> in this truck uh, and more importantly, know that I was able to get into Canada. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see what this. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. So, <laughs> just passed. Oh, just passed. Just went through the border, and uh, I guess I'm headed to Montreal. Uh, it's about an hour drive, additionally from the border. Um, but the main thing was I had to figure out if they were gonna let me come into the country or not. Um, that's interesting. What's 55 kilometers? Um, so, um, this is all kind of like off the cuff. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do when, I, when, I, when I'm out here. I don't know how far into Canada I'm gonna drive. Am I going all the way to Montreal? Do I feel like driving another hour away? The principle of it was to have the Lightning driven to Vermont, now Canada, and seeing if I can indeed get into Canada. It's saying 80 miles away to Montreal. I don't know if I feel like driving 80 miles, truthfully. Maybe I'll stop somewhere and get something to eat. Um, film and head back. The the uh, the purpose of this was more so to see if I can get in. So stay tuned because I don't know what's what's going to happen from here. All right, approaching the Canadian border, going into the U.S. again, and from what I hear, it's harder to leave than it is to. Uh, enter which is kind of interesting to me so we're going to see if that theory holds true they say that the the US customs patrol make it much harder to get in so let's give this a shot All right, that was not so bad at all compared to what everyone makes it seem to be. Really nice gentleman at the Border Patrol. Um, obviously, it looks kind of sketchy that I drove this far uh, to come to Canada to drive for an hour and then come back. It's literally 50 minutes from the time I went into the border into Canada back. Um, so obviously that will draw some red flags. He just asked to see the the bed, and overall pretty impressed. He was just kind of shocked that it was an EV. So he asked he asked more questions about the EV uh, experience than um, what exactly I was doing in in Canada and why for so for so so short of a time. But piece of cake, piece of cake. Yep, got everything back. Um, now heading back to Vermont. Not bad. Well, we're leaving St. Albans, Vermont. I have a 330 mile drive on the way home. Looks like I have two stops on the way home as opposed to the one that I had on the way up. It's kind of weird, but uh, I guess because they want me to go further down than when I was coming up. Uh, so stay tuned to see what you know the outcome is. Hopefully these charging stations are Okay, one's kind of new. I've never even charged at, at one of these public ones. I won't release the name of it until I get there um, and see what kind of uh, experience that is. On the way up, wasn't too wasn't too good, if you remember. Stay tuned, better. So after three and a half hours, I just made it to Massachusetts with 5% battery. Needless to say, I was really nervous. Really, really nervous. 
Uh, and sure enough, the EA station that I'm at in Massachusetts was saying three out of the four were used about 10 minutes prior to me arriving. And by the time I got here, all this, this, the charging stations were occupied. So I went, could quickly use the restroom, came, came back, and sure enough, the lightning that was parked before here before me was done charging. And now I'm, I'm up and charging again. But we have a long way to go, as you can see. We're at 7% now, and that's because it's been on for oh, a minute. But it's receiving 160 kilowatts, 161 kilowatts. That's very fast. So hopefully the downtime isn't too long, but we'll see. So that was a great charging experience. Charged for half an hour exactly, 30 minutes. Cost of $11.11. .11. Uh, I'm at 60%, which is more than enough to get me back home. Uh, said I could have got, could have left at like 35%, but then I would have had to stop again. Figured what's the point of that. Um, so I'm just going to go straight home from here.